Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a short video on how to post on your Instagram from your um, desktop or laptop. Um, I started, been trying to figure out how to do it, couldn't figure it out. I asked my kid, he was going to help me, and he just never got around to it because he's um, too busy since he got his driver's license. So, I finally figured it out last night how to do this. So, I'm going to show y'all how to do it. So, first what you're going to do is you're going to type in um, and go to Instagram on your desktop. And go to Instagram.com. And you're going to sign in under your username and password just like you do from your phone. Mine's already signed in, so I... It kind of skipped that step, step, step for me. So what you do when you're on here and you see it in this page, and there's no, you know, little plus sign, so you can't add anything on it from here. So what you do is right click, just anywhere, put your mouse anywhere on the page, and give a right click. Then down at the bottom of this, when this pops up, you know, I can go back off, it goes away. I'm going to right click again. And all the way down at the bottom, it says Inspect. So you're going to click Inspect. And when you do, you're going to get this different view over here. And it's going to change. Right up here in the corner of the side over here is a little thing at the top that looks like a tablet and a phone. So you click that. And it will ask you what kind of device you're wanting to view it as. So you can click down and whatever type phone you have, iPad, whatever it is. I'm picking uh, iPhone X because that was recommended in the thing. But, you know, it doesn't, uh, he also recommended one of the Galaxies or something. Not, it, I don't think it really matters that much. You just pick one so that it changes the view like you're looking at on your phone. So after you do that, then you're going to go and it's going to have a percent sign of, um, how zoomed it is. So you go all the way down to the bottom where it says, you know, it says adjust to auto adjust zoom, fit to window. You're going to click fit to window. And once you fit, click to window, sometimes it will show up and it will automatically have the, um, when you scroll down to the bottom, it will have the little plus sign. Sometimes it won't. You can refresh it. Um, your screen and then it will come up with the plus sign down at the bottom um, and it's still kind of a small view looking at it that way and what I figured out was if you go back up to the little box up here where it's got um, the view again you can click that or you can click here and it goes, you know, to a bigger screen. But um, if you click this one, it gets even bigger. But I'm going to go back. Um, let me go back and go back down. Because um, I want to go out of this view and go back to the one I've been having. So I'm going to go back and click again, fit to window. Okay. It's kind of going a little bit crazy from what it's been being. So, okay, I've clicked back out and I'm back back to normal. Um, so what that did was, you know, make the picture a little bit bigger. I'm going to refresh it again and get my plus sign back I may have to do it a second time y'all because now it's got me into a different view than what I've been having any time I've done it somehow I've, I've switched from where I want to be I'm going to go back to my profile see if it comes back there Okay, now I'm back on my profile, and 
I can see all my posts I've done before. I'm going to take it back to the smaller view again so I can get to where I need. Um, I'm going to go back to the iPhone X. So I'm going to refresh it. Okay, so now I have my plus sign. And you got to get it where it has that plus sign so that you can um, post on there. And then you can just click the plus sign and it takes you so you can pick a picture to put post or whatever. Um, but when I was doing it last night, I clicked on this again. It made it a bigger picture so it looks more like I'm on my iPad. And then I can go down to the bottom and it's got this plus sign down here in this view. So I'm seeing more of a full screen view. Click plus. It takes me to my photos and everything so I can pick one. And I'm on my new computer right now and I don't have all of my photos that I like to use. But I'm going to, um, because there's some things on my other um, desktop that I want to, photos that I want to use. And I'm going to, um, Try it from that one. It should work the same. I will say you have to be either on a Google. Um, it's Google window. Or there's one other and I may have to look that up for you. I'm doing it from Google. Um, because certain. Um, what do you call it? Um, oh, God. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyhow, Google is one of the platform, you know, search engines where you can do it from. You got to be going in on, on Google. And there's one other one that works. I'm not sure if Internet Explorer works. I have not tried it from Internet Explorer. It may work the same, but they did specifically list Google as a browser. There you go. There's the word. Browser view to be looking at. Um, but I'm going to so I've got this picture I wanted to use. So I'm going to post next. And then you can go up here and you can write your caption or whatever that you want on here. That way and just post from your thing. Because some, some of us do our pictures on our phone. Um, I don't. I use a regular camera and I know a lot of people prefer to use a regular camera and then you're dealing with editing your pictures on your desktop so it makes it a lot easier to be able to post your Instagram pictures from your desktop um, like this so that's why I've been trying to figure out how to do it um, because it's something I've, I've it would just make it easier for me to try to manage my Instagram which I've not been good about doing I have not really taking time to mess with it and that's why is because I don't have the photos on my phone and it's just made it harder for me to do. I do have my account linked so it go is going to Etsy um, and I can change it so it will go to my um, personal website too. But what I've noticed since I made about five posts last night, I've gained several, I've gained a few followers since last night. I've actually gained one in the last couple of minutes um, that started following me on Instagram too. But I'm trying to still learn the hashtag thing with this. So I'm basically just putting a note because what that is is a graduation gift keychain. Um, And then I'm going to hashtag it with a few things. And if it doesn't come up and show me something, what I've learned with 
with Instagram. If I'm trying trying to do a hashtag and it doesn't pull me up a group where there's a lot of posts, I try a different one. Um, so it popped up nurse. I'm going to use that. I'm going to pop up. I'm going to put it on Nurse Life. I'm going to put it on um, Hold on. My daughter's trying to FaceTime me. Um, I have to call her back. I'm going to put it under Nursing Student or is it Student Nursing? There it is, student nursing life, student nursing, um, student nurse, um, and do it this way. Um, and it, it ends up putting the, so this, your picture post in these groups, um, so you can gain more followers that way. Um, I have posted somewhere I've used hashtags that, you know, it didn't pull up, it didn't auto generate one, but you can tell like how many number of posts are in that, in it. And a lot of times, if it's got more posts, there's a lot more people following that particular hashtag, I guess, or, or group. And um, I've gained a lot. I've even gotten a couple sales before when I posted it, but it took me a while to figure out that's where they came from. Um, And I'm going to post it on there. And so now I'm ready to share it. And voila. There is my post on my Instagram page. I can now go to my phone and look at it and see it there. Um, and when you click on it to open it up to see more, it's, you know, it's got everything here. You click on the picture. Um, if somebody clicks on the hand stamp design and it takes them to my thing, they can follow straight from here to my Etsy shop. And when I'm ready to change it to go to my private website, I'm going to just change that, um, dot, you know, that web address to my private uh, web address and they'll take them to my private um, site then. But that is easy as pit pie, how you do it once you figure it out. It was took me a few minutes, and even now it took me a little bit because I've only done it about four times so far. But there's your little video on how to do it. Hope that helps.